Well, hello and welcome to this series where we're focusing on the five variants of what we call the VWAP Pro indicator, which, as I say, is five indicators in one. The foundational indicator is the VWAP, which is the volume weighted average price indicator. And in this video, we are looking at the second variant, which is called the MVWAP, which stands for Moving Volume Weighted Average Price. And the primary difference between the VWAP and the MVWAP is that the MVWAP connects up the sessions. So it moves across the sessions because it's a moving weighted average. It works in the way that you would see a simple moving average, for example, where you're uh, seeing it work across various periods, depending on the number of periods that's been set. With the VWAP indicator, which is the foundational indicator, if you like, that resets at every session. So when you start a new session, the VWAP will start to calculate from that point. The new day, for example, the new um, opening exchange, that is when it will start to uh, begin its calculations of the volume weighted average price and present them on the chart accordingly. With the MVWAP, because it's based on a moving period, it moves across those session uh, closure and opening points seamlessly. So what you get, what you actually visualize is a continuation of the moving volume weighted average with no resets, if you like. And I think the easiest way to, to explain it is if we drop down onto the 20 minute, time frame at the bottom right. Sorry, I beg your pardon, the 240 minute at the bottom right. The time frames I've set up here are five minute top left, 15 minute and 30 minute across the top, and then 60 minute, 120 minute and 240 down at the bottom. So we'll expand the 240 minute just to get started. Just move that out of the way and we'll pop this up full size. And uh, I think it'll become self-explanatory at this point. Now, what I also want to add at this stage about the MVWAP is that if you've watched the videos on the VWAP indicator, the one that resets at the start of every session, that is very much a, an intraday scalping tool because you're working, if you like, at the coal face. And hence, the time frames I had set up in those videos were, were very much faster. We were down on the one one five minute, 10 minute, that sort of type of time frame. And I think we went up to the 20 minutes as a maximum there. And obviously you can set it to whatever you wish, but the VWAP is, is much more of a, a scalping tool, an intraday, day trading, stocks, ETFs, index futures, whatever it may be. When you move to the MVWAP, we are now moving across the sessions and everything is therefore joined up. So what you see here is a very seamless transition of the MVWAP as it moves from day to day. Now we're on a 240 minute here, which is four hours on 240 minute. And therefore, if we look at the bottom here, you can see that we've covered a huge amount of time so we've gone from where we are, May, 11th of May, right the way over to the 28th of July. And yet we have a very seamless transitioning of our MVWAP as we move through each day, each session. It just continues in that way. And that's the primary difference. I'm going to record and show you uh, the MVWAP up against the VWAP, and you'll see the, the differences there. And, and, and what I'm also going to suggest is that you use the two alongside one another uh, because the MVWAP, it almost paints a picture, if you like. It completes the picture, the pieces that you don't see on the VWAP because the calculation restarts every session, which is absolutely fine. And that's the, the most popular way of using uh, the VWAP indicator is in that way as an intraday tool. But what the MVWAP then does is it kind of fills in the blanks, if you like, purely because it's moving across the sessions. So just to dig into the back end briefly, 
we right click on any chart and we go into scroll down, go into our indicators. Just move that up into the center there. If we click on the VWAP Pro down at the bottom here, I've got the volume on here as always because volume is a key part of this indicator. It gives us that all important trigger information of getting in, staying in, and getting out. Here we are. First of all, let's look at the variance. Uh, we've looked at the VWAP in other videos. This is the MVWAP, which is the moving volume weighted average price. Uh, the next one we're going to cover is the AVWAP, which is the anchored volume weighted average price. And with that variant, you can anchor it to any significant data point on the chart. So you have complete freedom to select where you want your, your VWAP indicator to begin its calculation. And that might be from a significant high or a significant low could be from an earnings uh, release, it could be a significant candle, it could be a significant data event, uh, could be a significant volume event, could be volatility, could be anything. So you have complete freedom. And again, it's a very, very popular variant of the VWAP so that you can anchor, anchor it to your own specific points of reference of, and of interest. The TWAP is a time-weighted average price, does not have the volume uh, element in there, but it's nevertheless, it's a useful indicator to use alongside the others. And finally, we have what we call, and of christened the interday VWAP. And what this allows you to do is to use the VWAP on the dailies, the weeklies, and the monthlies, because the other variants, and this includes the MVWAP as well, do not operate on the daily time frame. They will operate on all other time frames. As you see, we've gone up to 240 minute here. You can have anything you like, but the indicator does not work on the daily. And that's why we developed the interday VWAP, which does and also works on the slower time frames as well. Just while we're here, uh, I've got the multiplier on this one just for a, a change. The default is one. This is the standard deviation envelope. But I've just changed this just to show you it in operation. This is a set at 1.5. You can set this again to any particular uh, level you wish. So we've set at 1.5 standard deviation, but the default, as I say, is generally one. So I've just done that just for variation. And then down here, you can see the MVWAP. Here we are, so we're set to 21 periods again, which is the deviation period set as standard. But again, you can change that should you wish. So we just click that off, there we go. So that's very much the back end stuff. And I think the key point to make about the MVWAP is you get this wonderful view over an extended period of time. So we are very much moving away from the day trading um, application, much more into longer term swing, trend trading, and from an investment perspective as well, which alongside the interday VWAP as well is our key. And it works in exactly the same way. Other than that, what we're looking at in the center is the VWAP itself. So this is our center line. And then we have our outer envelopes so the upside and the downside. And as you can see here, we got this nice breakaway, very good volume coming in there. And then we travel all the way up on the outer envelope, all the way up to the top. And then we start to get some weakness coming in here, as denoted with the volume down here. And we get a nice reversal down here, all the way back down. We go back down to the outer envelope below. We start to see some buying coming in under that level. And then we traverse back up to the upper envelope. We get a little bit of oscillation here, back down again, and then off we go up again, up on the upper envelope, and so on and so forth. And it just gives you this wonderful longer term perspective in terms of the stock or the ETF or the index, whatever it is you're looking at. And as I say, I've got it set up here literally down to five minutes. Um, but uh, as you see, it moves through. And what I've also got, um, set up here again, which I forgot to mention. If we go into the data series, right click, go into data series, you'll see here that I've got it set to uh, ETH. So I've got uh, extended trading hour set up. So the indicator then works across all the pre 
and post-market periods and also of course during the physical exchange opening hours as well so you have the full i was going to say 24 hour but you know what i mean you have all the hours that the stock or the etf and indeed going off track for a moment um the etfs are now very much becoming a 24 hour uh, market uh, several brokers um certainly uh, people like uh, interactive brokers who we have accounts with uh, they are offering e, um, uh, e they are offering etfs on 24 hour basis so we are gradually moving towards a 24 hour cycle of trading we're not there yet with stocks but we're certainly seeing that that progression in terms of etfs and undoubtedly the same will occur on stocks over time also so i just wanted to show you that but again you you can see how it works uh, in exactly the same way if you've watched the VWAP indicator videos and the introduction and everything else, it works in exactly the same way. The trigger to get in uh, when, for example, when we get up here up to a, a potentially uh, overbought area, the trigger is always going to be volume. And we see revisitation of the VWAP. We see this a lot. And we get the breakaway and also what we see a great deal of is the envelopes acting as support and resistance whenever we're moving up and down the time frames let's just pop down onto the 60 minute there we go so as you can see it works in exactly the same way whatever time frame you're looking at it's a super super indicator and using the mvwap with the vwap is an interesting uh, way to combine the two and i'll show you that in a separate video so I would urge you to take a close look at the MVWAP um, and we'll do some more videos on this and uh, uh, and really bring it all together for you. But um, it's one of the five variants and it's again, it's a very, very popular variant, which is why we included it. We wanted to give you a complete package here of the most popular VWAP variants. So we put all five into the one indicator. So I hope you've enjoyed this particular video. Lots more to come as always. Thanks for watching. See you soon and bye for now.